how was that like moving on to that from going from Boston College to Purdue? I had no intentions of playing basketball out of Boston College. My father was working at the time for GE, mm -hmm. and his job was moved from Schenectady out to Fort Wayne. So that's how we ended up out in Indiana. So after I left Boston College, I just went, I just went home like to Fort Wayne, Indiana. And then my dad had um, enrolled me in classes at Purdue. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but little, little did I know that like he had, a, my dad had a whole different plan, you know, cause he, right. He had already spoke to uh, the, the assistant at the time. His name was Frank Kendricks. He already spoke to the assistant about me and was, was asking how, how I could walk on the team. Right. I, I didn't know anything about any wow. of this. Wow. You know? <laughs> so, so, um, so I'm going to classes and stuff, and, and um, I think I take two classes over the summer. I meet a couple of the guys on the team, Mike Robinson, Jerron Cordell. Brian Cardinal, Carson Cunningham, and uh, I, I start to um, Greg McQuay, Gary McQuay, um, rest in peace. But uh, I, I start to establish relationships with with people on the team, and, and also in the in the co rec, um, very good friend of mine, um, young lady, one at every level, Yukari Figs, and um, so I, I started I started forming relationships with them. And started started playing um, in in Mackey and and in the in the co rec where where the everybody from the school plays, and um, so I, word just started to travel like yo, there's this guy came here from New York and and people just started to to see that you know that I could play and they would they just start asking questions and then I, I would just get invited to different places to play. And, and then I started playing against some of the guys at Purdue. And uh, I got called into the office one time by uh, Frank Kendricks. Frank